Hey there, welcome to step one in lease option wholesaling. I'm Justin Chamness, and I'm glad that you're here with me today. I'm excited about this, uh, this entire training, and I want you to be excited about it as well because um, truth is if you're running wholesaling ugly houses alongside of the lease option process here, and that you're using both techniques, you're probably gonna do a lot more lease option deals than you are uh, ugly house wholesale deals. Not to say that you can't be a specialist. You certainly can be a specialist, and uh, I just don't recommend it. I mean, why be a one-trick pony when you can have a, a, another tool in your bag? So we're going to start out uh, talking about building uh, your confidence and your ability to go get a lease option property deal uh, and then in the further modules the further steps we're going to talk about analyzing that property deal making the offer doing the paperwork with the homeowner then marketing that property deal and then qualifying a tenant buyer for down payment and then doing the contracts with them so we're going to break down each step as we go through so if you don't have 100% clarity right now take a deep breath and relax it's going to be okay because we are going to explain everything like we said we would step by step and we'll be here all along the way so if you need to reach out to us we're here so stay tuned and we're going to jump into finding how to find these lease option property deals <laughs> All right, hey, welcome back. And uh, the first thing I wanna talk about when it comes to finding good lease option property deals is the fact that this is just like any other sales or marketing game. Um, this, this particular technique is probably 85, 90% marketing and 10 15 percent um you know what you know and your confidence and your ability to to have those conversations and that's where i want to get you to during this training so with that being said any marketing any sales any anything like this or like of that nature uh it is a numbers game Okay, so you're going to want to play as many big numbers as you can. All right. Now, let me explain. When it comes to marketing, you want to get your message in front of as many homeowners as possible. And, uh, and I'll, 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 I'll tell you how to do that. We're, we're about to do that. And this particular step, I'm going to show you exactly what to do to find these lease option property deals. But we're not gonna find a lease option property deal talking to one or two people uh, a month, okay? We are going to have to get our message out there, okay? You are, at the end of the day, you, <laughs> okay, at the end of the day are a marketer. That's what you are, okay? so. You know, yes, real estate investor, yes, real estate wholesaler, you know, um, all of the wonderful things that you are, but if you don't know how to do some marketing, then none of that really matters. Okay, um, let me tell you, for example, I will reach out to and market to at least a thousand or 1500 different homeowners okay in a month as a minimum and that will give me okay see I, I've learned this through time and through doing it so many times 
that will give me one to three deals per month every month month in month out okay one thousand to fifteen hundred let's just say fifteen hundred that's one to three deals a month okay now this is how you can also you can see keep your business a little more consistent than it would be if you were just a one-trick pony doing nothing but ugly house wholesaling okay so what are you looking for well you're going to you're going to be reaching let's say let's say you set that minimum goal of 1000 to 1500 and you're going to be reaching out to those folks and what are you looking for when you're reaching out to them well let's first of all talk about who you're looking for all right because that's more important who you're looking for is a motivated seller okay folks all of the lease option deals that I have ever done that turned out any good at all okay were the ones that the seller was just damn near begging me to do a deal with them and here's why in every case in my situation two things were true about the homeowner one they did not give two shits about their equity okay in other words they had if the house was worth a hundred thousand and they had a, a, a loan on the house a mortgage they were paying and it was eighty five thousand they did not give two flips about that fifteen thousand dollars worth of equity did not care okay that's number one one commonality between them the number two commonality between all of the great ho uh, wholesale lease option deals i've ever done is that they needed they craved they desired they were hungry for they were desperate for payment relief okay <laughs> that mortgage payment was eating them alive okay and it might be for a number of different reasons see for every one of them it was a different reason one of them it was because they had a kid that had some mental issues and they had to go do some serious medical and hospital stuff okay um, another one was because the guy had to move to st louis because guess what his woman packed up and freaking moved. She was like, hey, deuces, I'm out. I'm off to St. Louis. Now, he's like, well, I have a job and a house. And she's like, I don't care. And so he was desperate to get back to that girl. Okay. It could be divorce. It could be pre-foreclosure. It could be a job change or job transfer. Okay, it could be a sickness or a death in the family has caused a necessity, a, a, a need to move. Okay, it could be a number of reasons, but you are looking out of the thousand or the fifteen hundred people that you contact. You are going to and, and don't freak out about that. I've, I'm, we've got a tool that makes this real simple, but out of those thousand or fifteen hundred people that you contact, there's going to be one to three every month that are so ready to go that they are just waiting and hoping and wishing somebody would ring their phone and relieve them of their payment yeah their payment that's who you're looking for okay now what are you looking for well, this is the opposite of the ugly house business. This is the pretty house business. So you're looking for pretty houses. You're looking for houses that people can live in. Okay. Uh, here's what I look for in particular. Okay. You can do two bedroom, one bath, but I prefer, okay, I prefer three bedrooms, two bathrooms, or at least one and a half, 
and a two car garage attached or detached but I prefer attached okay now let me say it again I prefer the three bedroom two bath two car garage okay why is that I call that the bread and butter house that's the bread and butter house shit that's the house everybody wants that's the house you want that's the house I want that's the house everybody wants okay so um, I know it's going to be easy for me to find a buyer a tenant buyer okay because it's a bread and butter house everybody wants that three bedroom two bath two car garage all right especially if it's in a, a, a you know a low crime neighborhood you know especially especially if you have any indication that the school system's good there okay all of those things mean money in your freaking pocket all right so those are the kind of houses that i prefer that's what I, I like. Now, you can do other things. This is your business. Do what you want, okay? But that's what I prefer. So, and don't worry about what you're going to say to these folks. I've got some phone scripts and phone qualifications, seller qualification forms, and I've got the contracts and everything in the future steps for you. So, just relax. Okay, you're going to be fine. I know I said that before, but I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. I want you to feel confident because this is really something you can do, okay? All right. Now, how would you go about marketing to these particular types of sellers? Well, here's a big clue. You're going to be asking them if they are willing to lease their property and then for lease their property for 12 to 36 months because that gives your tenant buyer plenty of time to clean up their credit and qualify for a home loan so you're going to ask the homeowners you're going to be sending this marketing tool you're going to be sending this marketing message out would you consider leasing your property for 12 to 36 months and then selling at your full asking price yes no maybe we started putting that on the end of our messages here and <laughs> man it makes it real easy for the team I'll tell you that we get a lot of responses that are no, yes, and maybe. <laughs> we call all of the yeses and we call all of the maybes. Absolutely. Why not, man? I mean, you see yeses and maybes roll up in there. I mean, you might as well just get excited, okay? You're not going to have to talk to, to 1,000 or 1,500 of them. I'm text blasting these people, okay? I'm text blasting them. We used to email blast. But we text blast now, all right? And we text blast 1,000 to 1,500 people. We have a certain number of those that respond yes or maybe. Okay, and then from there, we have conversations. And the ones that are good, we keep. And the ones that aren't, we throw away. It's just that simple, <laughs> okay? You could do this manually, you will want to start out talking to the FISBOs for sale by owners. You'll want to start out by talking to the for rent section. Hey, they're already interested in renting out their property. This whole option to buy idea is not that far-fetched, right? So, you know, you've got uh, the ability to reach out to both the for rent and for sale sections, okay? But this is also a business that you can do direct mail, okay? You can do, um, you know, door hangers. I can tell you I have done it. Classified ads in the paper, okay? Um, nowadays, it's internet ads. You can do that. Absolutely. <laughs> Facebook's killer. I, I love Facebook, man. I, get, I buy and sell properties off Facebook all the time. Matter of fact, it's one of my main main medias of doing business and finding people and growing my network. So uh, you you might consider opening up a Facebook page. 
uh, a business page. That would be a good piece of advice. But you can do a lot of things to find these sellers. What I have done also, just to show you how easy this is, I have picked up a copy of the classified uh, section of the newspaper in my town. Okay, I live in Kansas City. So the Kansas City Star used to, and still does kind of, has a big for rent section. Craigslist does too. Okay. Zillow Rentals does too. Okay. Um, and I know in other markets, there's some other hot places. Like maybe, maybe Kijiji.com is something hot in your area. Maybe there's some others that you know. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I, I have, uh, I've done it all, but I've picked up a classified ads out of the out of the, the the paper paper, you know, like you hold it and you read it, like the the real newspaper, and uh, just called the for rents that were bread and butters, you know, the three bedroom, two baths, or at least one and a half, two car garage, and in a day, <laughs> calling through just the for rents in my market area, found a deal. Yeah, I mean, it's possible, and it works. I mean, I've done it. So, sorry, my my nose is itching. It happens. Well, so that's who you're looking for, and that's what you're looking for. Now, let me tell you this. You don't need to be afraid to talk to people on the phone. All right. What you will learn to do is respect your time, and theirs. I have heard teachers say that they have uh, this long drawn out 30 minute conversation with people and then they finally get to the the questions. It's just like what? No way. No thank you. I want to know within the first Really, I'll, I'd, I'll say three minutes, but honestly, I want to know within the first minute if I got a deal. In fact, I want to know before I even talk to them if it's even worth a conversation. And when I get them on the phone, I'm going to know within one or two minutes if it is worth a conversation. And if not, I'm going to get off the phone. And get on to the next yes or maybe. That is how it works. That's good advice. So let me show you uh, how we do the marketing here. And you'll see once I pull this up. We have... Um, the page that you're on right here, I think. Step one, finding. Oh, absolutely. That's it. All right. Well, um, you see down here it says automated REI blaster. Um, that's the code. J-U-S-T-I-5519. That's my code. That gets you $100 off each month. It's normally $197. Um, and uh, with this code, it's only $97 a month. It's also normally a $197 setup fee. And that is completely waived with this code. So you save $179 on the setup fee. And you also save $100 a month on the monthly subscription fee. And so it brings your total cost to uh, $100. And uh, also, there's a seven-day free trial. So, you know, you can try it out. And if it doesn't ring your bell, then, you know, it didn't cost you anything. But um, it's definitely worth it. You know, maybe even get your first deal, uh, you know, in that first week. You know, I've, I've seen people do it. So it is possible. Um, for some folks, though, it takes two or three months. And, uh, you know, that's okay, too. You know, you're, you're learning. You're growing. You're, you're getting confidence. 
But anyway, um, here's how we do the uh, the marketing. There's a little video here. You can take a look at it, and uh, you know you can uh, scroll down also and do a little bit of reading about what the RE, uh, automated REI is all about. Okay, see, normally it's 197 bucks a month, and so on and so forth. But I'm going to go ahead and sign in to uh, our account here. And you can see uh, there. There's my picture in the left-hand corner, and um, it says, uh, "Oh yeah, I've got a hundred bucks on my account here, and that means I'm good to go." And uh, so, all of the uh, menu options down here on the left are the same as the boxes uh, on the main page here, the main body section of the page. You see account details, Zillow scraping, scraping history. Okay, you can see uh, dashboard, my account, Zillow scraping, scraping history. So they're all the same. And uh, once you sign up and and uh, get get inside here, um, of course, the my account, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory. You can change some of the things uh, about your account and the particulars that are um, special about you and your 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 particular dashboard and your account. Um, Zillow scraping. All right. Um, here's how we do it. We're going to come in here and we're going to name uh, a Zillow campaign scrape. W what we're going to do is we're going to scrape Zillow and show you how to scrape Zillow for all of the for rents or for the for sale by owners and text blast them in bulk in mass. Okay, so that you don't have to you know one on one call people till you're dead uh, you know I also recommend teaching a VA a virtual assistant to do a lot of this stuff alright so uh, with with the scraper it's going to speed up your marketing time because used to we had to make email after email by hand okay I've even hired virtual assistants to send email after email after email and it, it's crazy but we live in a, a wonderful world right here in 2018 where we can scrape Zillow for the for rent or, or for the owners actually we can even use this to scrape the agents and uh, so uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do owners and uh, I can do any market area that Zillow was in so I'm just gonna particularly do my market area here I could also upload zip codes if I wanted to if I had a spreadsheet with some zip codes on it and uh, I could search by keyword I need to set the time to run this, which would be uh, sometime past now. And I can also set filters. So you can see I can do uh, for rents or for by agent or by owners, listing type, home type. Okay. Um, I'm going to drop apartments and condos and townhomes and manufactureds. And lots and lands I'm just gonna go with homes I can also do minimum and maximum price I can do how many beds okay so I like the three bedrooms I can click more and I can say I, I want the two baths all right square feet if I have preferences there um, anything you like okay and uh, so uh, once you're done with that uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the check data count button and it's gonna tell you how many um, it has scraped according to my preferences okay it has scraped 48 all right I could tell it to proceed and then it would go ahead and scrape which I'm going to it'll go ahead and scrape at 12 13 a.m. which I'm up late right that's in four minutes it'll scrape Zillow and show us the results okay now when I'm ready to look at the results I'm going to go to scraping history all right scraping history and you can see my campaign hasn't shown up yet because it hasn't run yet all right so we're going to take a a break for one minute and uh, we'll get back with you when uh, Eh, yeah, when we'll get back with you when the scraping is all done, okay? And then you'll see that the the, the tonight scrape is here, and I'll show you 
that it scraped Zillow for the for sale by owners that met my parameters. And then we're going to start SMS. We're going to hit this button. Okay. It's going to take us to the next menu and we're going to start the SMS campaign. All right. And uh, so anyway, I will be right back. All right. So um, let me show you the results. You can see here it has scraped Zillow for the Fizbos like I asked it to. And here's the Zillow URL. So if I wanted to go and look at the actual link where, where that property was listed, I could do that. Here's the address. Okay. Here's the price. Here's the owner's phone number. Okay. Sometimes you'll get a realtor that's posing as an owner or a property manager, and that's okay too. Okay. Scrape time. All right. We, we knew when that was. It's in the middle of the night. That's how much I love you guys. I'm up here in the middle of the night doing this stuff for you. Now, I could download these. Okay. But instead, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit this start SMS button. Okay. And that's going to take me to a new page where I'm going to type in the campaign name again. All right. In this case, I'm going to just going to pick up. I'm just going to pick that one because it popped up. I could upload contacts if I wanted to and just use this like a, a blaster, uh, a text blaster. All right. I'm going to select the campaign. Um, I'm just going to get wild with it. But pick the one that you just did, though, you know, if you're doing it. Um, I could select a voicemail greeting. So if they call me back, once, once they get my text, they're going to be able to hear a message. That makes sense. Okay. Um, I did buy a number. I think it was three bucks. All right. So um, I could select the time to do this blast. And then I can type in my message. Okay, now remember, this is what we said before. Something like this. And you can make this your own, okay? Would you consider leasing your house for 12 to 36 months and then selling to us? at full asking at here's what I like today's full asking price yes no or maybe okay and when I'm ready I hit start all right I'm not gonna do it because it's 12 18 a.m. all right <laughs> But what I will do is go back here to scraping history and look at something that I have done already. All right. Oops. SMS campaign history. That's what I meant. And I'm going to view. Okay. Here's some results. All right. And this was just like a little, I don't know how many did I do. This wasn't a very big one. This was a, this was a, a test that I was doing for another presentation like this um, so I only did uh, 23 texts but I'm recommending you do a thousand to fifteen hundred okay in a month all right at least so I sent that text out here it says what the message was any possibility you would be interested in a tenant with a 24 to 36 month lease? see I had changed the message around I played around with it a little bit but I recommend using the message that I just gave you so uh, it says here I sent that message out and this guy he said no I'm sorry at this time it's not an option no sorry went under contract this week see I didn't put the yes no or maybe up here in this message I don't know why that was stupid I should have this one said it's sold sold house no question mark question mark you know you get a lot of weird shit too man I would but it's off market now well that what's that mean I would call that guy 
We have eight rentals and don't wish to rent this one. It's a flip. Okay, they have eight rentals. You better call them. All right. So out of the 23, you know, it's not a very good showing. But even out of the 23, there's two or three possibilities there. All right. So you're only going to be, so you're going to cut out a lot of the riffraff. All right. You're going to get rid of all that junk uh, of talking to people endlessly and never getting, you know, where you want to go. So anyway, I love you. It's been a little bit of a longer module here, but wanted to talk about how to find those property owners. Now, if you can do this manually, all right, even if you don't have, you know, the ability to get the Zillow Auto Marketer right now. And the Real Estate Wholesalers Club is dedicated and committed to the concept of bringing you incredible, easy, and affordable ways to market for property owners and get property deals, both ugly houses and pretty houses, for the uh, ugly house wholesaling and for the lease option wholesaling. So, you know, we're committed to that. So we're going to be coming out with better and, and stronger ideas, too, beyond this. And believe me, folks, this is strong. Uh, this is way strong. You can be nationwide with this one tool right here. Okay, so don't undersell it in your mind. In fact, get $100 together and go try it for seven days. You can get your money back if you don't. You know, it's a seven-day free trial. Okay. It's incredible the deal that they're giving our club members. All right, so use my code and uh, we'll see you on the next module. What we're going to talk about then is we're going to talk about how to analyze these property deals, these leads once they come in. I'll show you a good lead and uh, then we'll, we'll show you exactly how to analyze that, that, that seller and that property deal and how to put together your offer all right you can do this and i know you can so you know stay strong stay solid stay confident in yourself and we'll see you on the other module the next step